Hey guys, how's it going? How's your day going today? Mine's going awesome. My usual workouts and working on my business, so I'm happy. Um, how's your day going and how's, how are things in your life right now? Like when you think about everything in your life, how are things going? Are there things that you kind of feel like you want to improve? You want to change them a little bit? If you really think about it, what pops out in your head as the first thing that you would like to change in your life? And pretty much everyone has something that they want to change, whether it's your health and fitness, or maybe your business, or maybe you hate the job you work at and you want to start a business, or maybe your relationship isn't exactly where it's at. But quite often we'll have stuff that we're not really happy with, but the funny thing about us humans is we'll sometimes stay in a situation that's not ideal simply because it's familiar, which means it's comfortable. So I want to help you get out of that and make changes so that you can be more than just comfortable. Comfortable is fine, but nothing great happens in the comfort zone. Hey, Darcy. <laughs> so when you think about something you want to change, what's the first thing that pops into your head? And then what you want to do is kind of focus on that and think about, okay, what can you do to make a change to get a little bit closer to where you want to be? Because we all have the power within us to make our lives what we want it to be. So say you wanted to improve your health and fitness. We'll use that as an example because that's the field that I'm in, so I'm, I'm really familiar with that. So if you decide, okay, well, I want to get healthier, I want to lose some weight or whatever, what, what do you have to do? There's two things you have to do, and that's exercise and also eat properly. So then what you need to do is decide of those two things, what is the one thing that you would prefer to do? If you have to choose, which one would you prefer to choose to change? So say you said, okay, well, I don't really want to work on my nutrition right now. Uh, I think I'll work on my, my workouts. So here's what you do. Well, here's what you don't do. You don't start going to the gym seven days a week working out like a crazy person because that will not last. <laughs> It'll be okay for the first little while while you're motivated, but then that's going to drop off. You're going to be like, uh-uh, I'm done. It's not working out. So what you do is you start really slow. So that's my biggest word of advice for when you're trying to change stuff is to go really slow, like slower than you think you should be going. So if you decide that you want to increase your working out or you want to start working out, maybe you're not working out at all, pick just two days per week and schedule in a half hour workout on those two days. So whatever two days, write in your calendar, 30 minutes working out, whether it's at the gym, at home, whatever. Um, there's lots of home programs you can do um, if you wanted me to help you with a home program, I'm more than happy to do that. So you just pick those two days, 30 minutes a day, and that's it. So that's, you know, that's pretty easy to deal with. That's kind of easy to wrap your head around and actually go out and do that. So you start doing that and it's, it's feeling okay. And uh, wait until it feels really good. So wait until it's part of your life. It's something you just do automatically. Don't even think about it anymore. And then you can start to progress, but not too fast. So add one more day to your workout, one more day per week. So you're doing three days per week, 30 minutes a day, and just do it. And then as you're doing that, you're going to get more comfortable with that. And as that becomes part of your day, part of your week, you're not even thinking about it anymore. It's just part of your lifestyle. Then you can start to add more, but don't go too fast. You've got to slow it down. Hey, Joseph. And same, same with nutrition. So once you get your workouts going and you're, you're feeling good about it and uh, you're ready to, to work on your nutrition, you're going to go slow. So maybe changing just one thing, maybe you eat dessert every day. So you can make the change of only having dessert three days per week or something, something really small and minute. And you might think at the time, like, wow, this change isn't really going to get me anywhere. It's, it's not big enough. But the thing is, is that you're building momentum. So as you make these small changes and you see the positive result of them, that's going to motivate you to make more changes. And it's just going to kind of snowball. And before you know it, you're going to start seeing the results you want to see. You're going to start seeing those changes that you want to see. And that's what you want to do, just a steady effort. So believe me, going all in, all at once, not a good idea. I've done it. It backfired every single time I did it. So when I wanted to lose weight, I would jump into a workout program, I'd be going hard seven days a week, and I would cut my diet down to almost nothing and just go really super crazy with it. It would last for, I don't know, a couple of weeks or whatever, and then you, just, you can't sustain it. So when I finally learned to go slow, it definitely worked out better for me. Hey, Peggy Sue. And then even with your business, I've experienced this with my own business when I started my business. Uh, when I started my business, I had no clue what I was doing. I knew what I wanted, I had no clue what I was doing. 
So I looked into things that I should be doing and what I started doing was trying to do everything all at once. And because I was scattering myself all over the place, things were suffering, I wasn't getting any closer to my goal than, than um, I wanted to get to it. So just putting too much on your plate is just not going to work out. So uh, for instance, I've actually started something new with my business, it's a brand new thing that I'm trying out, and uh, it requires a different kind of skill set. And my, my first thought was, oh, I want to learn everything, I want to get everything happening right now, I want everything set up, and I want to go, go, go. And I was like, okay, take a breath. <laughs> I've done that before, it doesn't work. So what I'm doing with my change in my business is I am learning what I need to do. I'm picking one thing to pick on, or to start to work on per week, just one thing. And if I get that one thing done early in the week, I don't start the next thing, I learn about other stuff that I need to know before I make the next step. So I'm really working hard to hold myself back from jumping too fast to the next step. So learning it, going slow, and doing it properly, and not overwhelming myself. Because if I overwhelm myself, I'm just going to be like, ah, this isn't for me, I'm going to give up on it without even giving it a chance. So you got to go slow with those changes. So just think about something in your life right now. What pops into your head right away? Like what's the first thing that jumps into your head? And then start thinking about what you need to do to change that. And think about the big picture, what you want it to end up like, but don't focus on the outcome of it. Focus on the steps together. So you have to really give yourself to the process and, and really work it day by day rather than just being focused on what you want in the end. Because if you're just focused on what you want, it's going to feel like you're never going to get there. But if you focus on doing the small steps, learning the small steps and getting really good at them, those small steps are going to lead to your big results. So think about it, pick something and make a change today. If not today, then when? Like, think about your life a week from now, or a month from now, or a year from now, or years from now. Like, do you want to be exactly where you are right now? Um, if you do, awesome, way to go. But if you think, no, I kind of want to improve this and that, well, start today. Start making those little changes and keep on it, and you're just going to see some amazing things happen. So I hope that motivates you. Yeah, one thing at a time for sure, Joseph, and I, I think that was some advice I'd heard from you, and it just, it's so true. Just one thing. Get the one thing done, do it properly, move to the next thing. If you're doing a ton of things all at once, I promise you things are going to suffer. I had things suffering in my business to a point where I was putting my business in jeopardy by um, spreading myself too thin. So that was a valuable lesson for me to learn. So I hope that motivates you and inspires you. And uh, if you need any more advice, you want to chat a little more, um, always free to chat and message me. I hope you're having an awesome day. i got to get ready for my next class that's coming up. And I will talk to you again tomorrow.